What up, what up? I hope all is well and you're hanging in there by the grace of God. Let's start first with a prayer and then the word I will share. We're going to start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed, depressed, anxiety written, come back to this prayer and say it with me. Because you know when two or more are praying together, God is in the midst. But this message is about armoring up for the onslaught of the paranormal, supernatural, califragilistic, espialidocious activity (laughs) that is increasing in the atmosphere. I know this is like a mix of exciting and scary times. That's because we live in a matrix that's filled with perversion, inversion, and division. And then you're the light in that darkness. So it is going to be a mix of exciting, scary times. It's normal, it's natural to feel scared about some things. (laughs) in this day but even though you walk through the valley of death you shall fear no evil for the most high is with you the almighty's rod and staff protect and comfort you so as you know i've been running more to god run to god more during these times and grounding my energy seeking first the kingdom of God which lives on the inside of us but there's a word I got from Holy Spirit that I want to share with you because I was like what shall I do (laughs) I've been asking God that a lot what shall I do thinking about the next steps really and you know what I heard As I sat still, I heard, just be present. And this message is for you, too, because I was told to share it with you. Just be present. Stand in the stillness if you don't know what to do. Be patient and getting to know my plan. Listen. Keep your thoughts high-minded. The evils will not touch you. You are protected. So, that soothed and comforted me. So right now, you do need to be running to God because in armoring up for this onslaught of a supernatural, paranormal activity, let me tell you what happened to me recently. Actually, it was in the early a.m. after I had got off from work. Uh, because I'm recording this on October 11th in the evening. But I was brushing my teeth. <laughs> then all of a sudden, I felt this. It was a demonic entity. And the reason why I say a demonic entity, I felt it watching me. And I felt the hate rolling off of that frequency. I felt the hate, but it could not cross that threshold because, you know, angels are close, and I knew that. But I was still speaking to that entity and telling it to, telling it where it needed to go. And then I started the Lord's Prayer. So we're in this time right now. 
where you're just going to feel the onslaught of a supernatural paranormal activity. You may be hearing some bumps in your house like, what's going on? Hearing something at the door. But know that you are protected. And I keep this community lifted up in prayer. I do. And I pray for that hedge of protection. And I pray for an angels to encamp around your home and your soul and your heart right now and your mind keep your crown covered with high-minded thoughts okay and say that lord's prayer when you're feeling your crown is being attacked in any type of way when you feel that your being is being attacked in any type of way i'm praying for the portals of heaven to remain open above you and your home and your household, you and your family. I'm praying for community and humanity at this time. And some of you may be feeling like um, your prayer is being interrupted. Like you have to keep starting over. This dark demonic forces is thick in the air it's tense so you may be feeling like you ain't want, want to get in the word you may be feeling like drained like fatigued like not much energy it's okay keep going to god keep going to god you'll be all right the warfare is real the fight is on the battle belongs to God, though, and I was reminded of that as I was saying the Lord's Prayer while I was brushing my darn teeth. But it finally, I think Archma Archangel Michael J. said, like, oh. look, y'all, I was in the midst, right in the middle of a face-off between angels and demons. That's what's going on in the high places right now. You're feeling it in the air. You are being protected. Because God is protecting his beloved ones. Those who have chosen to walk with God. You are protected. You are shielded. You have to stay armored up though. Um, because this onslaught of a paranormal, supernatural activity ain't no joke. The battle belongs to God. And your strength and courage to endure comes from the Almighty. So you have to keep running to God so you can rest in God, so you can reset, so you can recharge, so you can be renewed in your mind. So you can be revived in the spirit. And this um I kept hearing prepping for the purge. Prepping for the purge. They are prepping for the purge. They are prepping for the purge. I heard two words after that. KKK and the election process. And then I was led to the movie. I just want to see what the synop synopsis, the plot is about. But I was led to that. And I know that was the Holy Spirit trying to tell me something. The purge election year i think it's called the purge election year y'all this is the month of october we seeing some lot we we seeing just a, a this is around halloween so you know the witches and warlock they doing their thing so we gotta amp up our energy in prayer and fasting and staying close to god um god has given us the power and authority to command the seas, the wind, um, the demons, the devils, the darkness, or whatever. We have power and authority over that to command it to go away. Because you see in with Hurricane Helene, I felt there was a demonic dark agenda with that, attached to that. That's why I told Helene to go back to hell where she belonged. You have the power and authority to command the seas and the winds. That's another thing Holy Spirit want me to share with you because you need to know 
where your power come from. A lot of, but God ain't playing. But it's a lot of folks that's playing with God. Even Satan has some respect and reverence for the Most High. You better understand. But the human beings are being played with. Satan will plant the, plant the seed of that demonic agenda. And then from that point on, folks run with it. So know your power, know your strength comes from God. All right, y'all, I just wanted to share that message, message with you. Um, I'm seeing now why God has selected, anointed, appointed, chosen servants of God to be in the four corners of this world. We need this time right now to connect more with community. I keep hearing that from God because we in this together. We are to grow together, to endure together during this time because it's real trivial out here right now. And we got to keep trusting in God, believing in God, holding on to God, connecting with God, communing with God, 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 God. Seek first the kingdom of God in all your ways, in all your doings, in all your workings, and you will be all right. Trust and believe. Look, be grateful and thankful during this time because that's keeping your thoughts high-minded. Shift and transmute any negative, low vibrational thinking and watch the company you keep with the movies, with the TV, with the people, places, and situations. Because what I've been noticing at my workplace, if you're noticing too, I know it's always been there, but since the veil is gone and God is exposing, I'm feeling this racist energy a lot. It's heightened right now. And it's not, it's with the people that I service that they speaking out loud about how they feel about certain, you know, nationalities or certain situations that's going on in the world. They vocal. They have no fear about it. And they're going to let you know if they don't respect your nationality, your race. That's how real trill it is out here right now. But I'm also feeling it with the colleagues. It's rolling off of their vibrations. I feel it all up in their frequency. They ain't even got to say nothing to me. I feel they don't like me. Because of the color of my skin. That prepping for the purge. Why I heard that is. The government like I said. Think you're stupid. They. The elitists. The Illuminati. Whoever. Is orchestrating all these dark forces on the land right now. They play on folks' low vibrations right now. So be mindful of the um, company that you keep. Even the drinking in moderation. I would suggest right now to cut it off because the spirits, they call it spirits for a reason. All of that activity is increasing right now. It's amped up right now. It's at an all-time high. And you're going to feel like sometimes. Watch crowds too. I'm hearing that. Like if somebody invites you to a concert, invites you to an event, invites you to a, a, a gathering that's filled with a lot of people, pray about it. Go to God about it. Ask if you need to be in that mist. This is the time right now to listen to God on everything. On your next steps you need to go. But right now, some of you just need to be present. Need to be still. Need to trust God in the midst of it all. Because it's some things that went down on my God, on my job. And I wanted, I had to go to God to all about it. Because I was bent to God about it. And uh, I want to go to HR. God said, no, don't talk to them because they're not for you. They're only for the company. 
I wanted to call that FX hotline, but God said, no, don't go to them because <laughs> they're not for you. They are for that company. I had to fight my flesh on that, y'all. I really did. But I had to dig deep in the spirit and be obedient to what God was telling me because the battle belongs to God. That's what God, that's what that's what God is putting in on my heart and in my spirit right now to share with you. The battle belongs to God. Your flesh is gonna want to fight, but how you're gonna fight in the spirit is with prayer, is with fasting. Intermittent fasting for some of you is with <laughs> mastering your emotions. And being still in the midst of all this mad madness. Being steady in the storm. Being calm in the chaos. Because I know right now it's noisy. I know right now that it's a lot going on. And I know it's a lot of distractions that will pull you in these directions that will make you be deceived or be delusional or confused. That's all works of the enemy right now. But you need to stay grounded in God so you can see beyond this wilderness right now. And we're going to work together on that, okay? God got me working with you on that. And I'm grateful and thankful that I have been anointed and appointed in this time. I know my purpose right now. Your purpose right now is, I heard this good word, I'm going to let you go. Your purpose right now is, whatever is annoying you is anointing you. I can't remember who that came from, but that came at me at the right time when I need to hear that. That annoyance is your anointing for the purpose that you're in right now. We are the light in the midst of all this darkness. That's one important purpose that you need to be focused on right now be light be love be well be the salt of this earth god got us and you got this i catch y'all on the next go round Sending much love and light your way. Take care and be blessed. I'm keeping you lifted up in my high thoughts and prayers. You stay, you stay prayed up. You stay safe out here in these screens. Love you. Peace.